In this video, we will learn about uh, sequence alignment, why we need to do sequence alignment. Uh, the objective is uh, we have a DNA protein sequence and we need to find its relatives. It is one of the most common, commonly done bioinformatics exercise and uh, this will forever change the way you think about biology. What we must keep in mind that gene and protein sequence do not remain same over million of years. They are subject to mutations, substitutions, insertions, deletions, and evolutionary processes. Okay, first we need to understand between the between the, the difference between mutation and substitution. A mutation is a base change such that the mutant and the wild type forms coexist in a population like this you can see different species they are coexistence with existing with each other but in substitution substitutions are new mutations which accumulate in an evolving lineage over time which typically depends on the both mutation rate and the effect of natural selection uh, like the Homo habilis and Homo erectus were substituted by more fit and uh, more powerful Homo sapiens. So let's compare a gene sequence from four species human, mouse, pig, and horse. It is just an example to understand uh, the sequence comparison. Why we need to compare the sequence? What can we say about these sequences? these are identical yeah we can say these are identical and uh, they have same length so they will perform same function and probably originated from common ancestral protein okay now what can we say about these sequences these are almost identical we can say that these are almost identical they have same length and they originated from a common ancestral protein. There is a single mutation in pig and horse from adenine to thymine. Okay, what can we say about these sequences? These are highly similar. Do not have same length. Yeah. You can see the gaps. Addition of three nucleotides in human insulin or deletion in all other species. There is an addition of these three nucleotides in human and the deletion of these nucleotides in all other species. So which is more likely? I think the addition in human. And uh, there is a single substitution of A into C in big genome at position 1. Yeah. Thus, a sequence comparison enables us to predict with confidence how genes, proteins have evolved over time in different species. We can state hypotheses about the evolution of many proteins, mutations, substitutions, insertions, deletions, duplications. Wow. Just imagine with uh, you're working with a coronavirus protein and identifying how the chain to escape our defense. You have access to all the data and tools required to perform this analysis. Isn't it exciting? Okay. Gaps in sequence alignment. Gaps are inserted to maximize the alignment represent the insertions and the deletions. Let's align two strings. We are humans, we are not humans. Total align five characters out of 14. So can we insert some gaps in one sequence so as to maximize the alignment? Yep, it is a good score. If we insert three gaps, Total aligned characters 11 out of 14. 
so what if two sequences are similar if something is true for that sequence it is probably also true for mine they uh, probably share the same ancestor yeah they probably fold into a common three dimensional structure or same homology modeling they probably perform a similar biological function if they share the same structure or sequence it saves uh, it saves your time and effort sometimes studying a gene in lab takes uh, years okay these principles holds even if two sequences from different organisms are related to each other an important term is homologs homologs are genes or proteins that represent significant similarity in their sequence and structure okay the significant similarity for proteins is is 25% identity and for dna it is 70% identity uh, like uh, we have an example of histone h1 gene so first after gene duplication we have its two copies uh, two variants like h1.1 and h1.2 and after speciation after speciation when and human have its uh, two different copies and chimpanzees have its two different copies so the orthologs are genes in different species uh, that evolve from a common ancestral gene by speciation and in general orthologs retain the same function during the course of evolution like in same species two different copies of same genes are called paralogs and orthologs uh, same copy of gene in two different species like in human histone 1h1.1 and chimpanzee histone h1.1 so what about proteins that are less than 25% identical they could still be homologous but we are not sure we need to look at other kind of evidences like check if they have similar structure if they perform similar biological roles check the expectation value e value which tells you how likely it is that sequence similarity is a result of chance event length of sequence alignment it is very important it should be at least 100 residues and pattern of amino acid conservations methods for sequence comparison we will talk about three useful methods to detect similarities between sequences dot plots global alignment and local alignment